Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another get ready with me with natural lighting. You guys really like the last one. So here we are again. This time, however, I'm going to be using the products that I am loving at the moment. Most of these products are high end products just because my last video was, of course, drugstore. And I love to switch it up on my channel. So I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm loving. You've most likely seen these on my channel already. So we're going to go ahead and start with primer. And my favorite has been the Laura Mercier Blurring Primer. I am like half way through this and I absolutely love how it just blurs and smooths my pores so I tend to put it on my oily areas and just press that and it just minimizes my pores as I blend it in it's just been my go-to lately this one and the Too Faced primed and poreless but this one's just not as mattifying as the Too Faced one. And then for foundation, I've got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation SPF 20 in the shade Latte 24. I have absolutely been loving this foundation. It dries down matte, it has a high medium coverage, it lasts all day. When I first got this foundation, I wore it for like the first week just to see how I feel about it and I fell in love with the formula. I like to start off with a light layer and build it up just so I don't end up with too much foundation so gonna go ahead and blend that in but this foundation just wears beautifully throughout the day and it sits on the skin beautifully as well like it's not cakey at all it's just really nice whenever I sit down to do my makeup this is the foundation that I just want to grab ever since I got it it's just been my go-to also I'm all dressed up today guys with nowhere to go but to pick up the kids from school I was doing a clown Halloween look earlier which is why because this outfit kind of gives me clown vibes no it gives me sophisticated clown but once the clown makeup is on it just went really well and I just couldn't be bothered to change so here we are so yeah that is the foundation how flawless is it it's like a high medium coverage not 100% full but you can definitely build it up but I'm not really doing anything today so I'm gonna save my liquid gold <laughs> so for concealer I've been loving these two the Pat McGrath concealer and the Hourglass Vanish concealer I love them both for two different reasons they're both really high coverage but the Pat McGrath is a little bit more hydrating and the Hourglass is definitely more matte so on those days that I want a little bit more of a hydrated under eye but still full coverage I go for the Pat McGrath but then when I want a matte under eye still full coverage the hourglass is really good so today I think I'm gonna go for the Pat McGrath just because I've already done my makeup today and I've taken it off so my face is feeling a little bit sensitive today so I want like as much hydration as I can get and this one is just so nice underneath the eyes for me it's not too mattifying and it just glides on really well and I'm using the shade M18 and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with a sponge some days I use a, a sponge some days I use use a brush it just depends on how I feel but today my sponge is damp so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it but look how flawless that concealer is it just melts into the skin it's not cakey it's not heavy but it definitely has the coverage they did send me this concealer but then it wasn't the right shade so I went ahead and bought a lighter shade and when I bought it it was on sale for like 25% off so definitely wait for a sale and grab it maybe Black Friday I think it's normally 25 pounds but if you grab it on sale you can get it for like 20 or 22 something like that so I would definitely recommend grabbing it at the 20 pound you know sale price should I zoom you in let me zoom you in a little bit so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better just how flawless this sits underneath the eyes so I'm gonna go ahead and set this quickly and lately I've really been loving the Laura Mercier translucent powder ever since I did the side-by-side -side comparison of the honey and the translucent I just really love the translucent and mine is getting pretty low as well and I feel like when products start to get low I start to use them more because I'm like near the finish line and I'm running towards it I don't know I like finishing products up so when I realize that something's getting low I use it more I do prefer applying my powders with a brush I just find that I get the right amount of product sometimes when I use a sponge it just gets a bit too much and a bit too dry underneath my eyes and the skin underneath my eyes unlike the rest of my face is not oily so it doesn't need that much powder but this area here like my um, cheek area Area and my nose definitely need more powder than right underneath my eyes so I tend to concentrate the powder here and then whatever's left on the brush bring it up towards my lower lash line 
And then for the rest of my face, I take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade 3 Deep. They have changed the shades, I believe, or added another one. I've hit pan on this one. I really love the finish of this powder. Like before I bought this powder, I used to think, or was it sent to me? I think it was sent to me from Colt Beauty. But before I got this powder, I used to think like, what's the hype? Because it always used to be in people's like favorites videos. And I was like, what is the hype? It's just a powder, you know? But guys, you know those powders that are just so blur and so smoothing and like you know when you have texture and then you powder and it's just gone this is that powder i think it's one of those things that you'll believe it once you've tried it yourself but until then you're just kind of like it's a powder do you know what i mean i totally i was there with you i was like it's just a powder like what is so good about it but it's just it's not colored too much and it just adds this perfect veil of like blur or like people would say adds like an instagram filter to your face it really just smooths everything out and i i definitely think it's worth it in my opinion okay so moving on to eyes i don't have any favorites apart from my own eyeshadow palettes of course but i feel like i use that all the time and i don't know if you guys are sick of it so we're gonna try something new i have the Too faced pumpkin spice palette which is their new autumn fall palette i believe they come out with one of these every year but this color story is like the best that i've seen it's got deep and Enough shades like all of these shades over here look deep enough to work on my skin tone which is great out of all of the Too Faced palettes that I've seen them release for autumn fall this is definitely the one that called me in I believe it's 40 pounds on cult beauty which is a lot of money and I'm sure you can probably find you know dupes for these colors in your collection because at the end of the day they're just like warm neutral type of shades but something about this color story I was really drawn in so yeah I'm gonna create a warm colored autumn smoky eye so first i'm going to take the p louise eyeshadow base and just prime my eyelids by the way guys these are products that if you were ever to make a high-end wish list these are products that i would say go for the laura mercier primer the bare minerals foundation the pat mcgrath or hourglass concealer the laura mercier translucent powder and the charlotte tilbury airbrush powder i would say must try that's of course if you're into high end and you do want to make like a wish list or your birthday or christmas you know ask for the expensive things honey <laughs> so the first shade i'm going to dip into is ginger spice which is the orange in this palette and this i'm going to tap straight into the crease this looks not going to be anything groundbreaking but i just want to test this palette out it's a really nice burnt orange color like this orange just says autumn fall oh i can't be super messy because i've already done my base i need to calm down with the blending usually i go crazy and then just clean it up but I can't do that today. Blending and applying really, who's doing fireworks at two o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah, that's blending out beautifully and really nicely pigmented. I'm gonna dip into the shade next to it, Pumpkin Spice, which is kind of like this orangey yellow shade. And I'm gonna put that up by the brow bone. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade here called Warm and Cozy. It kind of looks like a dark, eggplant purple brown and use that right on the edge to deepen the look i'm really happy at the depth of this color because there's no black in this palette so i want something that's going to add the darkness and this is doing just that i should have done my eyes before i finished my face because i don't like being careful on the outer edge i just want to be able to blend to my heart's content and clean it up but i can't I am definitely not mad at the formula of these eyeshadows because they're layering really, really well. I don't think I've tried Too Faced eyeshadow palettes, you know. I had their original chocolate bar palette, but obviously the colour story wasn't really my thing. It was like cool toned, mostly shimmery, old school type of palettes, if you know what I mean. But this is really nice. But warm tone eyeshadows definitely have my heart. So when I first saw this palette, I was like... <gasps> Oh, that looks pretty, but I don't know if I would have bought it because I just have so many shadow eyeshadow palettes. I'm digging this eye look, guys. I'm loving these tones. Okay, so for the lid, I love the purples that they have in here. This is right up my street and this kind of green. Oh, okay, so they don't feel as creamy as they look, but they definitely have really good pigmentation. This color is stunning, but they do feel a bit crumbly and a bit dry in the pan. They're not like creamy shimmers, but but let's see how they apply. I really want to use this one. I'm going to try it with my finger. And then on the other side, <gasps> look at that color, guys. 
Oh, I'm on, I'm, I can't even talk. I'm obsessed in love, all of it. Because of my nails, I can't get into the areas that I want. So I'm gonna use a brush. So they are a bit crumbly when you pick them up with a brush. I think it will be good if you wet them. So I'm gonna take a dab of that orange and just blend that straight through the crease to blend out the shimmer a little bit. I don't want it to be a harsh line. So I'm gonna take the orange and just blend that on my lower lash line. And then a little bit of the dark purple right on the edge. Okay, so when it comes to mascara, I tried this last week and oh my God, why have none of you told me that this mascara bangs, okay? This is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. It came in a beauty box. Guys, I've had this in my drawer for months and I never tried it, but then it came in a beauty box and I tried it and oh my God. God, I'm obsessed with this. And I never thought I would because of the wand. I don't typically go for plasticky wands like this, but the formula, it lengthens, it volumizes, and that's all I ever want from a mascara. So I'm gonna do this side and then I'll show you a side by side. Why have I never tried this mascara before? It's so lengthening, separating, thickening, volumizing, everything you want from a mascara, it is. Okay, so here is one, look at that. Here is one coat of this mascara. Guys, my lashes have never looked better. I have noticed though, it does flake off a little bit throughout the day. Sometimes it will go in my eye, but that's the only con about it. It doesn't smudge or anything underneath my eyes or on top of my eyes, but a bit, little bits of it does flake off into my eyes throughout the day, I have noticed that. But for the length that it gives me, I don't mind. I can handle a little bit of flaking. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and then I'll come back to you. I think I'm gonna put lashes on as well, actually. So I'll put, actually, do I wanna wear lashes today? No, this mascara is so good. I'm not even gonna wear lashes today. Okay, so mascara is on. I do sometimes get it on my lid because it lengthens my lashes so much that it touches my lid. But anyways, I am obsessed with this mascara. So when it comes to cheap products, of course, I love my palette with Revolution over everything. Honestly, I just, I use this every day, so. I take my bronzer, bronze goddess, small amount into the hollows of my cheek. It just melts into the face, adds the perfect bronze. I mean, I love it, of course, that's why I made it. And of course it has my favorite blush in here, a deep orangey, gorgeous blush that just complements my skin tone so well. It's very pigmented, so very used very um, sparingly. But how gorgeous is that? So yeah, that is my face palette, my go-to favorite every day. So last but not least, lips. Of course, you guys know I love my Revolution Glory lip liner. I use this every day. My new go-to favorite lipstick is by MAC, and this is the shade Kink Star. This is the perfect nude for my skin tone. It almost is my skin tone. It has that gorgeous olive yellowy undertone. It almost looks like concealer lips. It's so beautiful, which is why I always use Glory to define my lips. Otherwise it will just melt into my face. Okay guys, so here we have the final look. These are my favorite go-to high-end products and this is what they look like in natural lighting. The only thing that I tried for the first time today was of course the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice, which I really, really enjoyed. I'm loving this eye look, but it's not something you probably have these colors, you know what I mean? But from Too Faced, this is the first thing that kind of piqued my interest and I'm really impressed with how they performed and blended and layered. So yeah, really like this. Definitely put it on your Christmas list if you are into warm tone eyeshadows and like the color story of that but everything else guys i would say if you don't already have it it's worth checking out worth trying out maybe grab it on sale you know we all love a black friday sale put this on your list and yeah that is it from me so go ahead and give this video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed to my channel and i'll catch you guys in my next one take care bye